Good afternoon. It's another hot day here in Southern Virginia. I'm at the, uh, standing on the site of Future Greenhouse. I got my PEX lines run over. Uh, I got my outlet for uh, my pipe for electrical outlet here. I've sighted this site because of the orientation. I can put the greenhouse this way. The winter sun goes low in the sky that way. There's right now some elderberries and some bushes but um, they're low enough to where they won't they don't go over the horizon they won't impede the sun I think this is a pretty decent spot uh, I am gonna the shed and the tree over there will cut off a little of the evening sun in the summer right now it doesn't because it's higher but I think that'll be okay uh, I struggle with the design and the layout for this greenhouse i'm going to take you off the stand here and just show you what i did and i've got the stuff here now over there let me flip you around here i built these i did the last video i did on it was part one and i've been working on other projects and i haven't gotten back to it but I'm building these to be cold frames and so <clears throat> they'll be for starters in the spring and whatnot and I, now if when I build the greenhouse I could just fill these with dirt and make them into regular raised beds. I do have some polycarbonate panels here that I was gifted from a friend. I'm going to build the tops of these to be cold frames so you know the iterations that this thing went through first down there if you can see way down below um, just against the tree line there's an old shed and on the left side as we're facing the door the left side um, under the eaves would make a nice spot for a lean-to greenhouse and decent sun exposure except for that big tree but um, it would capture most of the most of the uh, winter sun when it's low. So I went through a couple couple different you know options. That was one I was going to put that there, and you know it's too far away. It just wasn't practical, and um, there's some other things about that area they didn't want to do it with. The septic fields are I'm not exactly sure where, but they're fairly close to there, so I didn't want to have to be in a position where I'd have to pull up the bottom of it or pull it up ever if I needed to get at it. So uh, being that this is in the food forest, this seems to be really a better location for the greenhouse. Now, for a while there, I toyed with just doing a few more cold frames and not doing a greenhouse. And so I... um. As I said, I was gifted some polycarbonate panels, and I have enough to do the lean to. Sorry about this. Get this side up there. I have enough to do the lean to style greenhouse on the shed, but that's when when I was gifted the panels. I took enough to um, a friend of mine that gave them to me let me take what I needed very generously, and I took enough to do that lean to greenhouse. Since then my plans have changed and for a hot minute there I was gonna just do the cold frames maybe do several of them but then I thought you know if I want to overwinter some peppers or if I want to try experimenting with a few different things overwintering a few different things I really wanted a bigger space space that I could hand truck a larger uh, not a tree but you know something got to be five six feet tall or four feet tall even i could put it you know i grow a lot of stuff in pots i could bring it in there and had some ideas of things i wanted to toy with so um sort of in that process ruled out the cold frames i'm still going to make the cold frames when the greenhouse gets completed i can just pull the tops off and as i said use them for raised beds so a couple things you know i'm trying to do this on a really slim budget and again i'll say again it was very generous and very much of a blessing that i was gifted the polycarbonate panels i have a, a carport structure in back and 
Um, it's 12 by 20. I could take you back there and show it, but you know what they look like, right? They're just basic carports. And this one's got metal on the sides and the roof on the other side. So I thought at one point I was going to pull that carport and put it here and just leave the metal on the back half and put the polycarbonate on the sides and the front. I think I would have enough polycarbonate to do that, but I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I'd have to move that up, which wouldn't be that big of a project. I kind of came up with a plan for moving it. I would uh, get a long piece of, like, 2 by or something, and just to keep the, you know, the ends from spreading when I pull it, and bolt them in place, one in the front, one in the back, maybe one in the middle, and then get it up on skids, or just lift the front end up and skid it along on its aluminum rails, uh, galvanized, I guess they are. And I'm pretty confident I can move that with the tractor and I can set it here in place, jockey it to the orientation that I need to get it, and then, as I say, strip the metal off the front and build the polycarbonate on it. The problem, that works in so many ways because that, it gives me, number one, it makes the construction easier because the frame's already built and I just basically sheath it with the polycarbonate and put a door and whatever. Um, it works within my budget because then I don't have to buy materials for a frame and all that. So it's, you know, cost, ease of construction, win-win. The one negative to that, and it's a pretty big negative in my opinion, is I lose the carport. And I've got stuff stored in there now, and I've got a 18 by 20 carport down there, which I keep my tractor in, my lawn tractor, I leave vac, I mean, stuff, you know. I got stuff scattered around here now. Most of it goes in there. I do have a couple pieces up in that back one. And so if I take that back one, everything's got to go in the 18 by 21. And honestly, it's very tight to fit all that in there. And so I'm, you know, it kind of hurts to use that in that respect. But it's still on the table as an option. Another option is I've been collecting pallets. And I could build a frame here with pallets because that's the other thing. 12 by 20 is a nice size, but if I'm building it from scratch, I probably wouldn't go 12 by 20. I'd probably go 10 by 16 maybe. So 12 by 20 isn't much of a stretch. And a lot of times those things, you get them built and a year goes by and you're like, man, I wish it was bigger. So to some respects, doing the 12 by 20 isn't a problem at all. It's not like it's too big. Um, it may be bigger than I needed initially, but I, I believe I'd grow into it. Um, however, if I can build the frame with the pallets and build one high wall in the back and sheath it, and then just do a single raked roof, so it's more or less just like a lean-to greenhouse, but standalone, I could do that here. Again, I'm trying to do it with a very low or no budget. So I've been collecting pallets I got the polycarbonate I've got some I've been helping a friend of mine work at a church about an hour from here and they're doing a complete renovation and so I've been taking materials that they've been scrapping that they're gonna throw away some old two buys and stuff like that so I got a pretty good dent in the materials I need to build it out that way um, but I don't have everything so there'd be some cost of material to do it that way so I'm kind of on the fence to how I'm gonna do it I believe no matter what happens, it's not going to be built until winter or spring, late winter, early spring. So I've just got so many other things going on that that's kind of on the back burner. So again, another reason to build the cold frames, I can do my season extension there, kind of feel that out because chance that could work, but I think I'd outgrow that pretty quickly. So that's kind of where I am with the greenhouse gold frame situation not sure really which direction to go in kind of have a direction but I'm going back and forth and considering all my options so I'll just be interested to see what people's thoughts are on it and uh, you know have any input as to um, ideas or whatever one way or another I'm going to have something uh, hopefully come next spring to start my seedlings and stuff early 
Another thing, one of my short, shorter term goals, and I know I mentioned this before, is to grow salad greens all winter long. And so that can be achieved with this, I think with either the, the cold frames or the greenhouse, I can do that because um, those two cold frames should be enough space to grow salad greens for my wife and I. And if I need to build a third one, I could. And then uh, those locust timbers are, you know, some of them, they're between five and six inches thick, five, five inches thick generally. And so that gives me a decent insulation if I double layer the top or whatever I can it can be fairly insulated and so um, I, I think you saw when I scanned on it I had a barrel laying down I was gonna I got black barrels I was gonna put a couple of those in there and fill them with water so the Sun would beat on them all day um, again the Sun's low in the winter but it, it you know through the glass it'd be enough to heat that water up and then at night it would let the heat out I also toyed with the idea of putting a heater element, water heater element, and putting a hook in a solar panel. If, if I needed to, um, I would go through one whole season first and see if I need to do that. Um, so, in any case, that's my short-term goal with the greenhouse, cold frames, whatever I do. My initial short-term goal is to grow salad greens all year long, all winter long, and um, I believe that's achievable, but um, I just have to figure out how I want to do it and what that looks like going forward. So I did put here, I'm going to take you back off again and turn you around. I did also put here, I put a, um, a water line from the well, uh, from the house. And then uh, I also put another PEX line that goes to the shed, which I'm going to do another 600 gallon rain catchment on the shed. And so um, this way here, here at the greenhouse location, I'll be able to have the well water if I need it, but I try not to use that in the garden. And I'll have also access to my rainwater catchment. Uh, my neighbor's got an old three bay commercial stainless steel sink he's throwing out. I'm gonna grab onto that. Put that back here and so I'll just have a, an area to um, have water and just do whatever so that's just going to be incorporated somehow into the greenhouse design so this will be the actual site for the greenhouse and again that I'm going to show you the that's the lean-to up back there 12 by 20 but again you can see it's pretty packed with stuff so um, there is some just some old pallets and stuff in there which that can go outside, but I got my leave vac in there I do use that I got the mower deck from my Kubota in there uh, Stuff that can't be outside and I really don't have room for it anywhere else So that's it That's where we're at with that. And I got to just figure out what direction to go in again uh, Thanks for watching and I got to get back to work Have a great day. God bless you